to get our countertops today and they actually damaged the the back one when they were putting it on the truck so they're re-pouring it and then it should be here on Friday which I was like of course it's like the thing that I'm the most excited about because once we have the countertops in we can actually use the kitchen but the other problem is our fridge doesn't work so here's our fridge and when we put it like when we installed it it just like the fan does not work or anything so the guys are coming to fix it today it's very customizable so you can like push in a lot of the drawers and like move a lot of stuff around and then it has all these um like storage bins should have <laughs> filmed myself trying to figure out how to get these in because i was basically trying to put this um bottom thing upside down and none of these bins were fitting in there and i like it took me 45 minutes and then i finally figured out that i had it upside down and i figured it out but yeah we have all these bins so it'll be really nice and organized and then this is the freezer down here it's just really close to <laughs> derek put it over here so it's like really close to this wall so i can't really get like a good shot of it so yeah i won't be able to cook in here until friday probably like night so I might just show you guys my food today and do like a kitchen tour video next because it is gonna be a while until the final house tour. I said we have to finish the bathrooms and stuff. We only have this bathroom over here working right now so we don't even have running water in this house yet. Like, but we're, me and Derek have like moved in. We're like living in here. But we do cook everything over in the tiny house. I'm just kind of bummed because I really wanted my countertops. But if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I also showed like a ton of tours and stuff of the house, like finished rooms and stuff. So that you can see kind of everything that we have. I just kind of want to wait on YouTube and do like a full house tour when everything's in. But if you want to see like our living, our TV area, our bedroom, all of the other rooms that we've kind of gotten done, go on my Instagram and look on the home decor highlight. I saved it all in a highlight. You guys can see that. And then, um, yeah. But I'm going to go make some food. I'm hungry. I didn't go to the gym today. I basically just like walked the dogs and had some dandy blend this morning. So... Let's go make some food. All right, we're back in the tiny house. Focus. So this morning I actually put on a thing of refried beans because we're gonna have refried beans this week with, I might make some Spanish rice, but we might just have it with plain rice. And then I also soaked some beans for bean chili because, oh, I also <laughs> made a bunch of sweet potatoes I forgot about. Um, because I'm gonna make a bean chili and then I'm gonna eat it over sweet potatoes for probably dinner. And what else? Oh yeah, so last night I made a bunch of cheese sauce. I have not made this in so long, but I was watching my friend Potato Wisdom's stories and she had this bowl of potatoes with cheese sauce and broccoli. This is so good. It literally tastes like, do you remember when you were a kid and you went to Skateland or the roller park or the movies and you got nachos with that like cheese sauce that it comes with that jalapeno nacho sauce this tastes exactly like that so i did use a quarter cup of cashews in here um but it's literally i mean even if you figure out the calorie density of this whole thing it's only 450 calories per pound which i should do a video on this i did a video on this in my video course but I should do a video on how to calculate calories per pound. Maybe maybe I'll just do it right now. So to calculate calories per pound, I like to keep, I like to eat foods under 750 calories per pound. Now, I typically would say that I eat, the majority of my food is actually under 600 calories per pound because I pretty rarely eat avocado. Um, but it's so funny to me because people are really afraid of tofu and it's like tofu is actually less calorie dense than beans and it's full of protein. 
I think the whole the whole thing in like the vegan community went really far with like high carb low fat and like that means no fat like you can't eat any overt fats and I don't like personally throughout the years I found what works best for me is just sticking to calorie density like there is lots of protein in tofu tofu <laughs> here's the thing with tofu the studies that are not funded by other industries and are independently sourced that are studies done on soy it actually shows that people who consume the most soy have the lowest body weights and they also have the lowest rates of cancer and that would be your people in like rural asia for example or you know thailand vietnam those countries where they eat lots of vegetables lots of tofu like it's mainly they're a big protein source for them because it's cheaper than meat and dairy in these rural areas but anyway, that's just how I've been able to get like the leanest that I've ever been is just 90% of my food. I did an Instagram post about this the other day. 90% um, of my food is less than 750 calories per pound. I would say it's generally less than 600. So that is fruits, vegetables, all fruits, vegetables, potatoes, rice, beans, tofu, avocado, pasta, pasta, cooked pasta is less than 750 calories per pound. The things that I stay away from are things that aren't very filling, but I will, I do eat like all foods, all vegan foods. Like I'll have pizza, I'll have burgers, I'll have like whatever, like, but that's about 10% of my diet. So at home, 90% of the time I am having those foods that I just listed, um, oatmeal, you know, I can do more of these what I eat in a day videos if you guys want to see like more of what I eat. Um, because I know that they're like my most popular videos, but to calculate calories per pound, even if something does have oil in it, I don't think that it's a big deal. Like sometimes I'll use spray oil to like make potato fries because I think that they're better and it's way more convenient for me. And it's like, am I going to get hung up on 30 calories worth of fat? Like you have to realize that losing weight comes down to calories in calories out. So you want to be able to eat the most food that you can for the least amount of calories doesn't like a little bit of oil all foods have oil in them bananas have oil in them like avocados have oil in them i mean obviously pouring oil over your food is not going to really give you great weight loss results because it is so calorie dense if you're pouring a tablespoon or two of oil on your food every single day and you're eating you know three meals a day like that that could be five to seven hundred extra calories per day of pure fat that has no nutrition whatsoever and it's not filling you up it's not making you satiated i do feel like fat in general is a bit more satiating like if i have a bowl with rice if i just had a bowl with rice and beans and like lettuce and tomato it wouldn't be as filling as if i had a bowl with a little bit of tofu and avocado in it just because I feel like the way that it's like metabolized and stuff. But, okay, <laughs> that was like quite a long rant. To calculate calories per pound, like I have chronometer on my phone because I have all my recipes in here because every time I make a recipe, I put the calories and macros on my website for you guys. So we'll just go in, you just go and add this food in here. You can just scan it. So the ingredients in here are water, apple cider vinegar, avocado oil, beets, carrot dates, salt, pepper, garlic, flax seeds, pepper, whatever. All you do is you go into here, it says Siete hot sauce. I changed this to grams. Now a gram uh, or a pound is 450 grams. So we just change this to 450. And you can see that a pound of this hot sauce is 450 calories. So with sauces and stuff, I do try to keep it a little bit I do try to keep it a little bit lower calorie dense. Like I'm using a tablespoon or two of this, so it's not a big deal. Um, but like, for example, this like Rayo's hot or marinara sauce, I think it's like 300 calories per pound. It does have five grams of fat in it, but it's like, I like to kind of think about it. Like I'm having a big bowl of pasta that has like probably a pound or two of vegetables in it. I'm using one serving of sauce. Like I really don't care that much about sauces. I care more about the bulk of my food. So I just don't get super crazy with it. But I feel my best eating the majority of my food under 750 calories per pound. I would say typically under 600 because I like I maybe eat one small avocado a week just because I don't know. 
I really only eat avocado on sushi. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm going to steam some potatoes and then I'm going to put cheese sauce and broccoli. I'm going to steam some potatoes and broccoli and put some cheese sauce on it and maybe some of the siete sauce on it. And I'm going to have that for <laughs> breakfast today. So I have my potatoes simmering here or steaming here and once these get about done I'm just gonna throw in like half this bag of broccoli and then I'll just top it with cheese sauce I have my beans from my chili cooking so I just had a bunch of random beans I have like navy beans pinto black beans and kidney beans and chickpeas and I soak these overnight and I'm just gonna cook them on low for a bit and then I'm gonna add in all these veggies. I'll add in probably half of this thing of strained tomatoes and then one or two tablespoons of tomato paste and then I'll just have that bean chili over these sweet potatoes that I cooked in my air fryer. And I also have the refried beans that I made. Since we've been so busy with the house and stuff, I've basically just been batch cooking like this and I'll do this once every three days and then basically everything can just be thrown either on the stove top to heat up like I can just heat up this chili and throw it over the cold sweet potatoes because I kind of like it like that and I'll just steam up some potatoes really quick with broccoli and put cheese sauce on it or like for dinner we'll have um, rice that we cooked in the rice cooker with refried beans and just make it really simple so I'll just like this is basically how I meal prep at this point which it looks like a disaster <laughs> you actually like look at this whole thing going on here but I have my helper little Bubba and that just makes it really easy for me because I'm basically running back and forth between this house and the new house all day long I've been getting 15 to 20,000 steps a day not even trying because I'm just moving so much stuff, which you wouldn't think that like living in a tiny house you'd have that much stuff, but I've been really active, so I've been very hungry, and this is just kind of what's working for me, like cooking wise. But today, if the fridge gets fixed, I'll be able to like put food in there. And I did cook some stuff in the air fryer last night in the house, so that was nice. Um, but Friday, we'll be able to cook in there for real. Are these like the Let's nicest see. doors you've ever installed? They're pretty nice. <laughs> You're like, not the nicest. I was like, I've done some doors that are like a hundred grand for doors. Like, <laughs> that's like on another, like, that's, that's a different, these are that's amazing. Different, these are amazing. That's not on our that's level. That's a different price range. <laughs> yeah. Look at our beautiful doors. 
so nice to have doors. So these doors and then the front door we, like I designed, so we had them custom made. And then this is just like a really big pivot door, which is super cool. The thing I like the most about it is that when I have groceries, I, like I won't have to actually like open the door. I can just like push against it, you know, like with all this stuff in my hands. But they look so beautiful. I'm so happy. Also gonna drink this while I edit this video. All right, this is really random and it's not something that I actually plan on eating, but I don't have any rice cooked and I'm really hungry and my, I was gonna eat some chili, but it's not cooked all the way because I cooked it in this pan instead of the Instant Pot, which I'm just not used to cooking it in the pan. So it's just the black beans aren't cooked. So I have these, um, they're like, they're oil free. They're just corn. I got them in Mexico and they're just little basically like baked corn tortillas. So I'm gonna have those with just some refried beans. I'll probably put some more jalapenos on top. I'm just gonna have that as like a little snack until my food is actually cooked because I thought this was cooked and it wasn't and I'm kind of upset. So yeah, you can see they're just like these little corn tostadas kind of things, but they got really broken up because obviously I brought them from Mexico. <laughs> All right, this is finally done. I'm so hungry. So in the here, I just have a sweet potato and then a bunch of kale that I cooked up. I'm just gonna put chili on top of it. A little bit of this Siete hot sauce on top as well. I'm so hungry. It's three o'clock, so I'll, I'll probably have like three bowls of this. Just because I don't really have anything else to eat. Like, I kind of even ate all my fruit today. Unless I make like a smoothie later, I might make a raspberry smoothie, raspberry banana soy milk smoothie. But sometimes like if I'm craving chocolate, I just make like a hot chocolate with soy milk. What's going on with my hair? <laughs> but I'll show you guys if I make anything else. But I'm probably just gonna eat like a bunch of this because this is one of my favorite meals. And I'm not sure if I have this recipe on my website. It's actually, I think it's in my Instant Pot book. Yeah. Yum, Bubba, yum. Um, but yeah, so this year, um, for the last three or four months, I've been working on a 28-day guided meal plan, and I'm really excited about it. So I've been writing out the meal plan, and originally I was just gonna sell like the written out version of it, but then um, I talked to Derek about it, and he had this really good idea to actually make it into a video course. So it's actually gonna be a guided meal plan where like every single day I'm there with you, there's like a welcome section, we go shopping together, we meal prep every single week together, I make every single meal with you guys, and I'm there every single day, so day one we're making breakfast, we're making lunch together, we're making dinner, um, there's like so many tips, and just basically it's everything that I found helpful on my journey of losing weight because if you guys have followed me for a long time you know that like I've lost weight I've gained a little bit back I've lost it again like the most I've ever gained back was like 20 pounds but gained some back and like the biggest thing for me is the way that I eat now so focusing on calorie density that is exactly how the meal plan is every single meal is under 750 calories per pound it's so simple like there's delicious meals in there and I feel like the first one because I'm gonna do like multiples of these. Um, 
the first one I feel like is all kind of like my favorite foods. So there's like sushi, pasta, um, hash browns, tofu scramble, like tons of delicious meals, chili like this, um, just so much good food. Also, also the other thing is it's really inexpensive to go shopping for this meal plan. We're also going to make the video course like very inexpensive so that pretty much everyone can afford it once i have a page up i will have you guys like sign up for an opt-in page because i'll do 50 percent off again for the launch of it and like i'm just really excited it's gonna have its own little community and i just feel like it's really gonna help a lot of people because i feel like the first 28 days of something is really you setting up your habits and having that community support and having like me there in videos every single day with you guys making the food with you like talking you through it like giving you tips inspiration every single day i feel like it's just so key and i don't think that there's really anything like that out there so i'm just really excited to have the kitchen done because we're gonna start filming it and it's gonna be like derek's gonna help me film it so it's gonna be like next level like if you saw our house like he built that house everything he does is next level like highest quality in the world <laughs> so i'm really excited to have him help me he's already like got this camera slider and we're gonna like put a camera from like our our light on the ceiling <laughs> like, i don't know he's just like crazy but um i'm really excited about it so i'm just gonna start working on it and pumping it out um I don't know if I said this in the video, but I'm gonna be able to make so many more videos for you guys because my life is like in order finally and I have an office and it's just so much easier for me to like film and edit. So I am gonna do probably like a what to eat or a vlog every week and then I'm gonna try and do more of the weight loss meal plans because it is the biggest thing that you guys ask me for is those meal plan videos and it is also how people find my channel which is good to have like have more people coming in to inspire and help more people and just making the vlogs are more for like you guys because the vlogs don't really help my channel grow it's just kind of keep you guys happy to be able to share my life with you guys and like have that connection so yeah i'm really excited i hope you guys are excited with the meal plan and it's just like probably the best idea we've ever had and we're just really excited about it because it's just really gonna help a lot of people so anyways I'm gonna go eat my food I'll show you guys the rest of my food today if I eat anything else I'm probably just gonna have like I said a bunch of this chili but yeah I'm gonna go eat because I'm really hungry but if I don't see you guys again thank you so much for watching this video I know it's kind of long but you guys always say that you like long videos so I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Here is my second bowl of chili. It's the same exact thing, except for I just added some rice. So this is my last bowl. There is spinach, white rice, sweet potato, and chili in this one. <laughs> 